Good morning, visitors. The Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge will be lifting to its full height of 135 feet for the arrival of the Laura L. Van Ankevoort. If you would like to see the Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge lift to its full height of 135 feet, I invite you to do so at this time. morning visitors right now coming through the Duluth ship canal we have the tug Laura L. Venenkevort and the barge Joseph H. Thompson the barge Joseph H. Thompson was built as the Marine Robin in 1944 by Sun Shipbuilding and Dry Dock in Chester Pennsylvania she measures 706 feet in length 71 feet in width and 38 feet in depth she has 19 hatches on her deck, which open into four cargo holds located below deck, and she has a maximum carrying capacity of 21,200 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot cell phone boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Joseph H. Thompson and Laura L. Van Ekevoort were designed to work together during their entire careers. The Thompson was originally built as a cargo vessel for World War II. After the war, she was converted for Great Lakes service in 1952. She was the largest vessel on the lakes at the time, at 714 feet in length. When she was converted uh, and served the M.A. Hanna Mining Company for many years. She was laid up for many years in the... 1980s due to a downturn in the steel industry and was converted to a barge in 1991 by the Upper Lakes Towing Company. The leftover steel from the stern section of the steamer was used to build the tug Joseph H. Thompson Jr. But once again coming through the Blue Ship Canal we have the Laura Elvin Eckford tug and the Joseph H. Thompson barge. They are on their way to Fraser Shipyards today. What are they doing? Not quite sure. None of my business. But that's where they're going. known as the captain salute. It is one long and two short blasts of the horn uh, initiated by the Laura L and reciprocated by the bridge. 